Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a tobacco-free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. football show where each week coach Dawson Odoms and I bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. We come on about six times a week and uh, we come on streaming about three times a week and you can also catch the Jaguar football show on our YouTube page. So you can catch us on the air, on the internet, on the World Wide Web. There's no reason to miss the show. So tell all your friends and all the folks in the Jaguar Nation catch the Jaguar football show. Coach Odoms, we go to Houston and we played the U of H. Uh, despite the score, 62-13, I saw a lot of positivities. It's a lot of positives. What did you see? Well, exactly. We moved the football up and down the field. Uh, we forced them to punt six times. It was just some turnovers. That, that's really what, what stood out the most. The game was 13-6. to six. We was driving the football, got down to the 12-yard line, and the freshman fumbled it, and you know that really cost us some momentum. They go on down and uh, get three more points, and they ended up uh, making it 20 to six. And then we went for a block punt. They had another freshman on the field that had an opportunity to block it. He, he whiffed, ended up getting rough in the kicker, but that wasn't the, the big penalty on that play. We had illegal touching, and they recovered the fumble, and that gave them an opportunity to get down there even closer. And it set us back 27 to six at the halftime. But we did, we did do some great things in the first half, and it was exciting to watch how Dre Joseph played in that football game. Well, without any further ado, we're going to jump into highlights because we got a lot of them to show you. And uh, ultimately, Houston has that first possession, and their quarterback, David Pilon, throws for 19 to Kenneth Farrow. They come back, and their running back, Jackson, is going to score uh, for the first score of the game to make it 7-0. Coach, how did y'all deal with that no huddle? Well, the tempo, I mean, if you haven't seen the tempo in which they play with, I mean, they were snapping the ball before the chains got set, and, you know, it really – you know, when you don't have as much depth as you need to play against a team of that caliber, it wears you down real quick. Well, there you saw Dre Joseph hitting Willie Quinn, then he comes back and hits Doss. We ultimately punt on this series. Their quarterback, Pollen, sets up, and he hits Maxwell for seven yards. It was good coverage by Virgil Williams on this play, Coach. I thought Virgil's played an outstanding game for you. He did. He was matched up against some bigger receivers and competed the whole game and really got some nice plays, especially down there towards the end zone. On this play, Pollen's going to make another completion, but it was a good tackle by West. Coach, you know, again, that, that, that no huddle looked like a track meet out there. Were you guys winded? Were they prepared physically for, for that no huddle, how fast it is? Well, no, I think it's just the tempo. You, you know, we're, we're up tempo ourselves on offense, but not to what we saw uh, Friday night. Just that they get under the center and they snap it and then – when they get a big player, when they catch you not lined up right, they come right back and snap it even faster. So, you know, you can tell that's something they work on a lot. Right. Well, while Coach was talking, you saw a great defensive play with Virgil stopping a touchdown. They kick a field goal. Richardson, who had a good day returning the football for you, Coach, returns one for 35. And then Dre and the offense run a triple, a triple reverse and hit a big 45-yarder, Coach, which gave the Jaguars a lot of life. Exactly. You know, you got to have some of those plays in there to jumpstart your offense, and we did a great job of executing it. Dre hits Altum for nine yards, and then turnover bug hit his coach. Well, that's the freshman. You know, got, it's a tough lesson for him to learn on game day, but you got to protect the football, and, you know, I'm just looking for exciting things out of him going forward. Pollen comes back and hits Maxwell for no gain. That was good defense. We then just, Pollen goes deep to Maxwell but it was good coverage by Virgil Williams. Back-to-back -back plays by Virgil Williams. Coach, I'm really impressed with what I saw of Virgil Williams in this opening game. You expect that kind of leadership from your senior. Uh, Virgil showed up, and you're right, he had an outstanding football game. The Cougars do score a field goal. At this point, it is 13-0, uh, to and the Jaguars come back, and Dre hits Willie Quinn for 14. Coach Quinn is going to be exciting. Exactly. You know, I think uh, – 
Trey Joseph has some receivers around him that's really going to make him a complete quarterback. Uh, as, Willie Quinn is one of those exciting receivers. As exciting as Quinn is, his star is Doss, so you're going to have a great receiving year, I think, a re receiving core, Coach. Dre comes back and hits Coleman for eight. Coleman had a good game for you, Coach. Then Dre comes back and hits Altum, uh, ultimately, for the touchdown. And then the uh, extra point try was blocked. What happened on the extra point, Coach? Well, a lot of push in the middle, and, you know, that's something we got to address this week. Um, Zach Brown got to really keep his uh, feet together right there, and you got a big push in the middle. Great hit by Webster on the return by Houston. Then Houston sets up. They rush for 15 yards and another touchdown. Just like that, scores 26. Dre sets up. He hits Coleman again. Coach, I thought Coleman did a good job uh, out of the flat in the uh, screen game, as well as he had about a, almost 100 yards on the ground. Exactly. He ran the ball well. You know, it's a returning player that played a lot last year. It was just exciting to stick his nose up in there and get positive yards. Coach, will Artillery uh, be back this week for us? Uh, no, nah, we won't have him back. We'll probably get him back for the PV game. Okay. Well, here you see uh, Coleman again going back. I mean, Dre Joseph going back to Coleman. Then he hits Doss on a slant. And then ultimately he hits Altum. And Altum fumbles, another turnover, Coach. Well, that was the story of the football game. When you're going against a football team of that caliber, got a young man really fighting to try to get some more yards. Got to understand he got to get north and, and get the positive yards, and that's a costly turnover for us. Okay, well, the first half ends 27-6. Houston Cougars, when we come back, we'll look at the second half. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern Rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. Come and join us each Monday night about 7 o'clock at Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill. A wonderful place with great hospitality, good food, and a lot of good folks out to come and visit with us. And you can get a chance to talk to Coach after the game. 
Coach, jumping into the second half, Dre Joseph had 166 yards at the half, 268 and two touchdowns for the game. You had to be pleased with his effort. Exactly. You know, I really think Dre performed well. You know, it's exactly what you expect a preseason uh, all-conference selection to, to perform. You know, I was excited for him and just looking for him to continue to grow uh, in this week's football game. Some challenges in the running game. Was Houston's defense that good, or we just got to put some more work in on that running game? Well, you know, they hit us increases inside a little bit. You know, mainly it's just their offensive line was very good. Um, you know, they did a great job with their zone blocking scheme, and they folded some guys up on the inside. Uh, but we're looking forward to just making our corrections and seeing if we can't get just a little bit better this week. Well, there you go. You get it from the coach. We'll jump into second half highlights of the Jaguars versus U of H at Reliance Stadium. And the Cougars come out, and they run a little reverse. And uh, coach, 45 yards to the house. A good play by the Houston Cougars. Well, exactly. You got your leverage on your defense. Got to always keep your leverage, and got out leverage there. And uh, number four is probably one of the fastest guys on their team. Dre Joseph comes back and has a quarterback keeper for six. Then he hits Doss for a nice 30-yarder, which you gotta like to see because if we can get Doss going north and south, good things will happen. Exactly. It's a good combination, and we look to see more of it uh, throughout this season. Willie Quinn makes a score, which we missed with the camera, and there, there you saw the extra point. At this point, the score is 34 to 13, and we go through the Houston possession back into the Jaguars possession. And you just saw Dre hit um, a rush for 15, then Dre comes back, and he's intercepted uh, on a tip pass. Coach, it's kind of hard when you get an interception like that. Well, exactly, especially in the uh, positive territory for the opponent and give them the short, wheel, uh, short field, and you can't give Houston the short field. They're an explosive offense. Okay. You saw a good sack there um, by McCain and Brown. Then Houston brings in a new quarterback, O'Corn, and he hits Daniel for a touchdown. At this point, scores 41-13. Dre comes back. He hits Coleman. Coach, do you have another running back behind Coleman, or you pretty much ran Coleman all night? Yes, we got a we got favorite and we got Lundreas Johnson who didn't play, but we expect to see some action this week. Here's Dre rolling out on a good pass. At this point, Houston gets the ball back. They score on a one yard plunge. The Jaguars come back. Coleman rushes, I think, for eight yards. Coach, did the kids enjoy the Reliant Stadium experience? Well, I think so. It's a great venue to go to and have a football game. Uh, it's an exciting atmosphere. Had an electric crowd. And, yeah, uh, I think they look forward to playing in stadiums like that. 62-13, the final score between the Jaguars and the U of H Cougars. When we come back, we'll look at our players of the week and have the player interview. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on health care reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash health care reform. You can count on Jerry Lane. At J 
Cherry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Cherry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always lead you. You can count on Jerry Lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show, where each week we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. Coach, Cox Player of the Week. This week, you gotta name your first Player of the Week for offense, defense, and special teams. Who are the Cox Players of the Week? Well, offensively, it'd be Dre Joseph. I thought he had an outstanding football game and did a great job of maneuvering the offense. Defensively, it'd be Daniel Brown, who had 12 tackles and really was all over the field, had an exciting football game. And special teams, it'd be our snapper. Um, Okuaku Ohine, who did an outstanding job, uh, first time ever snapping, did an outstanding job for us. Well, the Offensive Player of the Week, Dre Joseph, we talked about him earlier, 268 yards through the air, two touchdowns, and we caught up with him after the game, and Joe Dupree filed this report with, Joe, uh, with uh, Dre Joseph. We're here with Dre Joseph, senior quarterback for the Jaguars. Now, tonight, Dre didn't wind up the way we wanted it to be, but nevertheless, you were the beacon light of the team. Two touchdowns, almost throwing for over 260, headed toward 300 yards. Tell me, how did it feel with the new offense, with the new season? How do you feel about all this? Uh, our offense is pretty much the same. We just changed up the tempo a bit. So, you know, we try not to huddle and just go out and try to play fast. I think at some point in time in the game, we needed to slow the ball down, so that's why we started to huddle up. I think I played a good game efficiently, but I trade all my stats in for a win any day, any game. Indeed, we would all trade it in for a win, but you did play very good, Dre. We're looking and expecting great things from the Jaguars this year. Of course, you were playing against University of Houston, a much uh, larger, quicker team. But at the same time, you played an excellent game. As we move on into the season, what can we expect from the Jaguars? Just more, more victories. I mean, I think... The last three years, we won a total of 10 games, and I think this year we're going to, you know, we're going we're gonna to win games this year. We came out, we actually moved the ball. Like you said, we played a, a bigger div Division One school, but we actually came out offensively, moved the ball. The defense did a great job, but we just kept them on the field too, too much, and they had great field position. Every time they got the ball, it was uh, less than 50 yards for them to go. So you give good, good teams like that short field position, it's easy for them to score the ball. Indeed it is, and Dre, the big cat, is back. Dre Joseph, yours truly, Joe Dupree, doing it big for the Jaguar football show. You keep it locked right here. Well, there you have it. Our Cox Offensive Player of the Week, Dre Joseph and Joe Dupree talking after the game. Coach, fall camp's over. That first game is over. Those first, first game jitters are over. Tell me what you like that you saw and what you like that you didn't see in that first game. Well, I like the competitiveness of our football team, uh, the way the guys go out and compete and, and really gave maximum effort to try to win the football game. Uh, the negatives from that football game are the turnovers. And I just think you can't give anybody six turnovers and expect to beat them. So as we correct that going forward, I really think you'll see a better football team on the field. There you go. All right. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll talk about our Jaguar question of the week and look forward to Northwestern State next Saturday in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. You want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery.
is football. And you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There's just one thing missing from my boy Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Jaguar football show where we come to you each week from Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill at 8342 Perkins Road. Of course, we welcome you to come out, hang out, have a good time with us. Coach, as we told the crowd last week on our first show, we have gotten with the social media craze of the world, and uh, we have a feature every week that we'll be doing called the Jaguar Question of the Week. This week, the Jaguar Question of the Week comes from Mike Lee, and he wants to ask you, Coach, what were the positives you got out of the U of H game? Well, just, you know, the way our young men competed in the football game, you know, the way Dre Joseph played, the way our receivers uh, caught the ball, you know, and the way our defense flew, flew around. You know, you, you got to understand that that's a tough opponent that we had to open up the season with, but I'm really proud of the young man for not throwing in the towel and really competing for four quarters. And I think that's a testament to what kind of football team we got going forward. Well, thank you, Mike Lee, for that question, and we'll contact you via Facebook to pick up your two tickets to the next Southern University football game. Coach, we now turn our attention to Northwestern State. My alma mater, the trip is up to Natchitoches, Louisiana. Uh, back in the uh, 2000s, we had a good series with Northwestern State. Home and home, we go to them, they come to us. Uh, are you familiar with their program? Have you heard some good things about their program? Well, yes, you know, it's um, one of the better programs in the state. You know, over the course of time, they had their fair share of winning. But, you know, we have a slogan, and what we try to do is um, claim the state of Louisiana, especially on the teams on our level. We got to really get our football team prepared to go on the road and play against a team that's, that's 1-0. and Talk to us about what they like to do on offense and defense, Coach. Well, you know, they're a spread football team, like to go some one back. Uh, probably see the same kind of style from Houston, probably not as fast as Houston. So that'll probably give us a better opportunity to get lined up and execute. Defensively, I know they defensive coordinator. I tried to get a job with him. I know him from the past. He's going to bring pressure. So y'all been an exciting football team and uh, be an exciting football game. And we look forward to going up there and uh, trying to get a W. But there you have the word on Northwestern from Coach Odoms. Of course, we'd love to have the Jaguar Nation roll deep up to Natchitoches and fill up Turpin Stadium and show all uh, the demons who really, really rules Louisiana. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. 
To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game of planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on health care reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash health care reform. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show. Before we wrap up, Coach, what do you want to tell the Jaguar Nation about coming up and supporting the team this weekend? Well, you know, it was an exciting game last week, even though we came out on the short end. But we look forward to getting back on winning ways, and we look forward to Jaguar Nation supporting us up at Northwestern. I'm sure you can get tickets to the Southern Ticket Office. Um, so definitely come up to Turpin Stadium, support the Jaguars, and um, have a good time in Natchitoches. Coach, we always invite people to come out to Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill. Monday night's about 7 o'clock and watch the show being taped live. Of course, you can catch the show on Cox 4, Monday nights at 9 o'clock. You can also catch it Monday nights at 9.30 on Pelican Sports. That's Cox 113. You can catch it Tuesday night on Pelican Sports at uh, 9.30 on 113. You can catch it Wednesday on Cox Sports Television at 5.30. And then Thursday on Pelican Sports on 113. You can catch it streaming live on Pelican Sports every time it airs live, but you can always go to YouTube and, and dial in the Jaguar Football Show week one, week two, whichever week it is, and pull it up and watch it whenever you get good and ready. So thanks for watching, and of course we'd love to have you out here at Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill to join us as we produce the show each week. And as we do every week, Coach, when we're wrapping it up, what do we tell the Jaguar Nation? Go, go Jags! Jags. All right, see you next week on the Jaguar Football Show.